$60 might get your whole car lit up by a girl who looks like Nardo Wick's sister. This looks like Nardo Wick and Polo G fused right here. I really didn't know his car was going to decline. But you should make sure before you take me out. It's your responsibility to make sure that you protect that person's image, protect that person's emotions. Like, you, you're an extension of her. And Resistance does not always win. It means that she's not attracted to you. But she dated with a purpose. Hey guys welcome back to more to life now today as you see you probably don't know where i am but i'm over here by bgc and today's sunday is family day so i'm out here just chilling out with the little man right there and k and k's behind the camera holding the camera but guys i want to get into this now i'm gonna get into this video i'm gonna get some reactions and uh be sure to like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching let's hop right into it Women set Tinder date on fire after he refused to give her more than $60. Damn! This happened when this girl called a Tinder date to meet her at the hotel where the guy went. When he arrived at the hotel, this girl approached the car and said, I need money to help fix my car. The guy didn't appreciate that, so he said, you know what, I'm gonna just give her $60. And that wasn't enough, apparently, and she just lit up the whole thing. Dating in 2023 has to be an extreme sport. You have to be very qualified to be able to take on this dangerous activity. $30 may get you locked into a house with a man with no bed sheets and a trash bag on his bed. $60 might get your whole car lit up by a girl who looks like Nardo Wick's sister. This looks like Nardo Wick and Polo G fused right here. Imagine dying over there. The worst thing about this is she already approached the car with the gas in her hand. So that means that she was already planning if this guy gives me any less than the amount that she had in her mind. You're gonna light up the place. I've never been a fan of online dating because essentially you are gambling with your safety and time. You don't know if the person you mean is gonna be a lunatic, if they're a murderer, if they're crazy. You don't even know if the person you're meeting is actually who they are. Let's bring back dating where you actually had to meet someone in the streets and that boundary of worry of them being a creep or them being a murderer is out of the way already. Let's bring back classical dating, God. That's crazy. Now, you know what's funny? What's wild? This just happened on Tinder. And I tell you one place it's not happen at. When you're dating on Tinder outside of the US market. But anyway, stuff like that usually doesn't happen. Now, you see that? The guy got she got 60 from the guy and she set him on fire why did she try to get more money from someone else it shows the entitlement on somebody's woman like what was she thinking now that's not even a modern woman that, that that's not even a modern woman that's a modern lunatic and you got to be careful out there because you never know who you mean no matter where you are no matter where you travel in the world you never know but this is sad man if a guy was to take you on a date right <laughs> The date is going good and all that, right? But when he's about to pay, his car declines. What y'all doing? I would pay. Do a pay? Yeah, I'd walk out. <laughs> Hold up. Wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You see that girl right there, the taller one? She said the date was going good. She's bad, too. The date was going good. She would pay. What does that show? The other one said, I will walk out. You see, guys? Now, of course, we already know. What do I always say? so 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 few now the other woman will walk out that's probably around 75% of the women that are left behind that are available I should say because married there's married women too you know they would a lot of the married women and women that are in long relationships they would they would stay but most part women are not like that let, let me let it keep going why are you asking me out if your friend declines? Like, he really didn't know his car was going to decline. Well, you should make sure before you take me out. I guess. Listen. I don't mind dating a broke man. I'll be fine. You can make nothing, and I could make the all the finances for a house. But if you're loyal to me, I'll stay. Okay, let me... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me, let me, let me, let me rewind. I, okay. Because I, I, I might have misheard. You said that if you're dating a man, and he's making no money at all. Yep. That you would stay dating him as long as he's loyal. I could because guess what? There know. are men, there could. are men could. out here who make so much money, but they're f***ing trash. True. And I've ran into it. True. So why would I not take the lesser amount with someone who values and respects me over a dude who's making all this money and wants to throw these things in my face? I can buy this shit myself. True. I don't need that. I could do it myself. So you're saying you're willing to take care of a man is what you're saying? I have. 
Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh. based. But guess what? I also have with the intentions of knowing that the man I want is trying to aspire to be better. I'm living my life. Not me. She said, I'm a sugar daddy. <laughs> Wait, not me. <laughs> not her. Wait a minute. So guys, as you see, right? She said she wouldn't mind dating a broke man. She's hanging with the wrong woman. It happens sometimes, right? But you know what's wild? Really, birds of a feather flock together. So she's not a gold digger. But what is the other woman? Most likely a three or four. What does that make her? Right? I'm not saying she is. I don't know her from anywhere. But still, her traits are going to start rubbing off on her. Either one's going to affect one or one's going to affect the other. And who do you think is going to win? Most likely a girl that's downright rotten. I could be wrong. I'm not saying what I'm saying is bond, because I don't know them, but still, you guys know what I'm saying. This lady has a pet lobster with some glasses on. Crazy. Dude come up to me, he said, y'all love the show, but I just feel like sometimes like you be holding your tongue, like you be just conscious of like what your woman thinks. And I was thinking, I was just like, yeah, like you should be. I asked him, I said, you have a woman? He was like, nah. So there you go. When you get to a point where, hey, this is the person that you want to commit to and be with, it's your responsibility to make sure that you protect that person's image, protect that person's emotions. Like you, you're an extension of her. And one of the stupidest things you could do is to do something that's going to paint your woman in a bad light because now you not only messing with yourself, you messing with her. Yeah, I kind of get that somewhat because of course I wouldn't do that to my woman. But, you know, I... I'm not gonna say you gotta keep it real all the time, but it's a thin line. And sometimes you have to cross that thin line. Of course, still keep it respectful towards your woman, right? But tell the truth, be honest. And the guy said that, must have felt like, hey, wait a minute, I don't feel you was being honest. And what happens is, you start to lose people over that. When you're not being genuine, uh, that guy, and then maybe 10 other guys, or 20 other guys, or 100 other guys feel that way, right? That's how it works with these podcasts and with YouTube. A guy will see you and say, wait a minute, he's not being authentic. I don't feel like I'm relating to him at all. That's how the guy feels. That's why I said that to you. But to each his own, I'm not saying for you to, to down your girl or anything like that. Of course, keep it cordial. But still, it's a thin line. Fellas, if a woman ever tells you that she is not interested and she only sees you as a friend, it does not mean try harder. We are not trying to play hard to get we really don't like you it does not mean when you have an opportunity to make a move it does not mean to try to get her drunk and then she'll be interested like persistence does not always win it means that she's not attracted to you and she doesn't like you like that so just quit move on to the next one all right entitled you already see the entitlement look at her look at her i'll be honest she has what a pretty face seems slim entitled to not keep pressing them you know what happened that probably happened like right right then and there she probably turned, put a guy into the friend zone and she's saying that hoping he sees a tiktok probably twist it man but you know what's gonna happen Say, to, happens to all women that wall is all mighty the wall is all mighty and one thing i love about over here my lady knew my lady, my wife knew the wall was almighty. She made sure she locked me down. Find me now. She wasn't playing any games. I wish to find a husband. She she had nightmares in her, in her sleep. My wife, she's the wall is almighty. I need a husband. It's almighty. The almighty wall. I need a husband. I need to, you know, be right for a man. And I'm not saying old woman over here think like that. I'm not saying old woman on the side of the world think like that. But. Find a woman like that as early as possible. Doesn't even have to be in another country, right? The woman could be down the block, you just don't know it. But the way it is nowadays, guys already know. I'm not finding it where I'm from. I'm only finding it outside. But it's sad when I see that because she is the way she is now, because she's young, and then it'll be 20, 30, 40 years later, it turns into a Vivica Fox situation. The reason why I say that is because you see it happen with regular women. Like, I just reacted to it, like, two days ago. It was a woman that was, like, 60. 65 years old saying, Oh, I can still wait. I still got time. Yes. 
They don't see it now, but they think they still have time. And time keeps on slipping. Slipping, slipping. It's about damn time. Do, 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 do. You ain't got time. Yeah, guys, so. I seen this guy before, Anthony McDonald, but. Yeah, this African lady, of course she knew she had time too. But she dated with a purpose. That's why guys are leaving. Guys want to be around a group of women or a woman outside where more women date with a purpose, right? And that's what she's doing here. Dating with a purpose. And she, right now she's playing and, and, and joking, but she's showing her appreciation for her man, right? Of course, she don't want to mess him up from driving the car because he's driving right now. I wouldn't have her touching my face while I'm driving. <laughs> when I'm driving, I'm doing no videos, but he got a good grip on the road. But yeah, man, this is why guys are leaving. Guys are leaving to find situations like this where they adored. You can see it. She adores this man. I think I'm going to name it the title of that. That's what bro leaves for African woman who adores him. And that's what guys want. Guys want to be accepted, appreciated. And welcome with open arms. And guys won't accept anything less. And women hate it. That's why women, that's why you've seen it slow down now. You've seen so many women talking about us because they know guys are not accepting anything less. Right? Guys are not accepting Vivica Fox situations where you're old and then now you want to be around me. You can come over here and be 60 and get someone that's 40 or 30 or even 20. Right? And that's what guys have decided to do because we all realize it's definitely more to life. And dealing with that. See y'all next video. This is the way. Your passport, bro. Cash for. No. So